Welcome to the videos of H2K Infosys. So in this particular video, we will see how to install the Java runtime environment. The Java runtime environment is a prerequisite uh, for us to uh, install Eclipse in our system. And before we uh, install Eclipse in our system, it is important for us to understand that we need to have the Java runtime environment into our, into our, into our system rather. So <clears throat> going uh, along with it, um, we are going to see certain things uh, on the aspect of uh, installation of Java runtime environment. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, we need to check up that we do we have uh, Java installed on our, in our system or not. That is the first thing that we need to check up. So for checking that up, what we need to do is open up command prompt. So what we are going to do is type in the command called CMD in the search box out here. And in this particular search box, I'm going to type on or fire the command called Java space hyphen version and click on the enter button. So if I did get this kind of message, which shows me that what is the Java version, what is the runtime environment build that I have and what is the uh, hot hotspot build that we have uh, we will be sure that Java is installed in our system and the version of Java as far as my system is concerned is showing me 1.8.0 underscore 91 okay and this uh, the SE runtime environment build is 1.8.0 underscore 91 dot b15 and then hotspot 64 bit server uh, is present virtual machine is present in my system so if we get this kind of messages that precisely means that java is installed in our system the other way to basically check is that other ways means that apart from command prompt okay the other way is basically to check is that what we need to do is go to go to our uh, my computer and we need to open up the drive where the operating system is installed now in my system the operating system is installed in in C drive so we are going to open up C drive and open up program files out here in this program files folder if we see a particular subfolder called as Java we will be sure that Java is installed in our system and if we expand the Java folder we will be able to see that the JRE 1.8.0.91 is also installed this is the latest version of JRE I believe so so these are the two ways in which you can be sure that java is installed in our system now let's say we do not have you know the we do not have this java folder or let's say we do not get the message we when we fire the command called java space hyphen version in the command prompt that precisely means that java is not installed so in that particular scenario how do i get the java installed in our system <coughs> uh, so for that what we need to do is that for installing java for the first time in our machine first off first we need to check the system type and then we download java that is jre based on the platform and system type okay and then install jre and confirm your jre is installed in the system so going to the first aspect of looking at how to install java for the first time into our systems what we need to do is first check up the system type for checking up the system type we need to go to my computer highlight it right click and go to properties this is going to give me the system type now if you see the system type out out here i have a 64 bit operating system and my platform is windows 10 so with that information i'll i should be able to download java now how do you download the jre so for that what we need to do is open up google search engine and type in the keyword called download uh, java and click in the enter button the first link basically gives us the uh, path where from where i can install the java runtime environment so click on this particular link you're going to give get this particular button called free java download so you got to click on this particular button so click on this particular button after clicking what we need to do is that we need to check up what are the options in this page which has opened on clicking the free java download button so it opens up a page which shows you a button called agree and start free download do not click on this 
what we need to do is first understand that what are the different flavors of Java that are present for different platforms. So for that, we need to click on this particular link. The link is called as See All Java Downloads. So click on that. We will be able to see that what are the Java flavors available for each platform. So for Windows platform, these are the links from which we can download the JRE. For our Mac OS X platform, we can download the Java flavor from this particular link. For Linux platform, we have these links from which we can download the Java for the Linux platform. And from for Sun Solaris, we have these particular versions of flavors of Java. So since I have Windows 64 bit operating system, I need to basically click on this particular link which says Windows offline 64 bit. If I have a 32 bit operating system of Windows, then I have to click out here. <coughs> so I'm going to click on this particular link to download the 64 bit version of Java. And it takes a bit amount of time to actually get, get it downloaded. Now, if you can see out here, the latest version is 8 update 91, which is already installed in my system. So I don't need to actually install it again, but for the sake of making you understand, let me open it and start installation of this particular version again. So I'll, I might get this particular window which will ask me to allow this application to make changes to a PC, say yes to that. And after that, <clears throat> what we need to do is that we got to wait for the Java pop-up window to open. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I have a bad cold, so that's why I have this particular cuff. That's not going to affect the training anyways. So <clears throat> let us wait for the Java windows to open pop up window to open and let us see it has open or not it is still not open i think it is still on the verge of opening that particular window so let us wait for that <coughs> these kind of installation require a lot of patience so let's wait and then we'll go to, going to move forward yeah the java window is open you get a welcome screen out here so what we need to do is that we need to first understand that we do not have to change the destination folder. Let it be the default destination folder in which it is going to, you know, install the Java JRE <coughs> software. So do not try to change the destination folder. Let it be the default destination folder wherever it is going to install the JRE. Because I have seen that if, if I try to change the destination folder, sometimes Java programs do not work correctly or there is a conflict in the environment or there is a problem in in using java programs so let us not change the destination folder click on install button and it starts installing the java <coughs> jre into our systems so let's wait for that and Again, these kind of softwares require a bit of patience. So let's have a patience <clears throat> before we move forward. It doesn't take made much time for us to actually, you know, download Java and install it. So I hope it will be over by some time and we can then go ahead and check the rest part of it so this particular pop-up window of GRE says that you have successfully installed java so i can close this particular window now how do i basically uh, get uh, uh, a green signal that java has been installed in my system so what i can do is that i can again <clears throat> type in the command called cmd in the search box of the windows and click uh, enter button this opens up the command prompt and i going to, i'm going to basically now fire the command called java space hyphen version and click on the enter button. So if I get this kind of messages which shows us the java version and the SCR entire environment build versions and the virtual in machine uh, versions of it that means uh, java has, has got installed in my system. This is the first way of getting a sanguinity. The second way is that you can actually open up the drive in which you have installed your OS. My drive is C, so I'll open that. I'll see this Java folder inside the program files folder. So expand the Java subfolder and you'll see that this GRE 
zero underscore ninety one has been installed. If you expand this, you will see the bin folder, the live library folder, the copyright license readme text release, third party license readme text, third party license readme Java FX text, and welcome HTML. These are the you know files and folders present inside the JRE. Now the library folder contains nothing but libraries which are needed for us to you know create our java codes or which are needed to uh, ease out our coding structure the bin folder contains different configurations files to configure the jre entire system and the other files are your text files which are used to look at the licenses factors of the jre and how to use it and there's a welcome page in the form of welcome.html so if we see these kind of you know files and folder inside the jre folder we are sure that jre or rather java is installed in our system so this is one way of installation of Java. This is the clear way of installation of Java rather. The next thing which is present in our slide is to upgrade GRE to the latest version. Now, for example, I need to know or I do not know rather what is the Java that is installed in my system. How do I find out what is the version of Java that is installed in my system? So it's the same thing out here. What we need to do is just open up the command prompt by firing the command called CMD inside the search box. And if we just type in again the same command called Java space hyphen version, we'll be able to know, you know, the version of the Java installed in my system. Right now, the latest version is 1.8.0 underscore 91. So latest version is installed. Now, let's say you have an earlier version, let's say 1.8.73 or 1.8. Let's say 81. Now you want to upgrade to the new version that is the, that is the latest version 1.8.0 underscore 91. Then what we need to do is that we got to open up the same you know uh, Google search engine okay and click on this particular link again click on this free Java download okay and we'll be able to see what is the latest version this is the latest version for example hypothetically I understand that I have an older version I want to upgrade to the latest version so what do I need to do is that I need to go and check up my system type the system type I can go and check up by just clicking right clicking on the my computer go to properties and check up the system type I have 64 bit so what I am doing out here is that I will go to see all Java downloads and check up this Windows offline 64 bit now from here I can download the latest version just click on that and start install installation of it by the pop-up windows which are opening or which will open on installing the GRE which has gone got downloaded by clicking on this particular link so that's how you upgrade your version do not do any other or do not carry out any other ways to upgrade your Java version. You can upgrade your Java version by the same procedure that I have shown you right now. Now, let's say you want to basically, you know, try to uh, remove the older versions. If you want to remove older versions, what you need to do is just type in the same, same keyword called download Java. It is going to open up this particular link, the first link which belongs to java.com slash download. Click on this link. You will see that the same page opens. Click on this free Java download and there is a you know a link called remove older version that means it is removing the older versions of your jre if you want to remove you click on this particular remove older version link it will allow it will ask you to uh, you know click on an applet kind of stuff or kind of a uh, add on or a pop up stuff click yes on that pop up stuff and then it will automatically you know remove the older versions of jre do not try to remove it manually Always use this particular link to remove your older versions of your GRE if you want to do it. <clears throat> so that's about it in terms of uh, installation of GRE, which is actually a prerequisite for installation of, of Eclipse ID. Now we will be using Eclipse ID for the purpose of Java, for creating our Java codes, or for compiling our Java codes and for running our Java codes. Uh, there are other IDs also available like your NetBeans. NetBeans is also a free ID like Eclipse ID. NetBeans belongs to Oracle, but the features given in NetBeans personally for me does not match with the features that are present in Eclipse ID. Obviously, the Eclipse ID features are far better than NetBeans ID according to me. Okay, so that's about it in this particular video. Uh, thanks for watching it and uh, we'll see you again in the next video. Thank you very much.